all-wheel drive had proven an advantage on dirt. But would it work on pavement? The high-banked Talladega Speedway. In a secret test, Bobby Unser makes an attempt at a world closed course speed record in a specially prepared Quattro. Despite the aerodynamic disadvantage of the boxy four-door sedan, he breaks 200 miles per hour and sets 10 new international speed records. Confident that they had an advantage here as well, the engineers decide to enter a production-based Quattro in the 1988 Sports Car Club of America Trans Am Series. It was also the first time that team drivers Hurley Haywood and Hans Stuck had tried racing an all-wheel drive machine. My competitors found that we were going to be racing an Audi, and they, and they took a look at the car the first time. Uh, they kind of laughed and said, you've got to be kidding. Uh, this is a car that we race that looks very much like the sedan that people can buy uh, in the showrooms. Everything was new to me, and I thought to myself, oh, is that the right thing I might have towards the end of my career with 37? Nevertheless, we didn't know where we are till we came to the first practice in Long Beach. The first race, the streets of Long Beach. Let's ride with Hans Stuck as he makes his qualifying run. cylinder turbocharged Quattro is no match for the more powerful V8s on the straightaways. Its advantage comes in the tight turns. I had to adjust my style of driving because Transam drivers are hard drivers, tough drivers. They don't look very often in the mirror. If you come from behind, especially with a car like the Audi, you can brake very late that they don't expect you to come so close to, to brake so late. by the way, was good for fourth starting position. In the race, Haywood surprises everyone with a second place finish. Still, most experts regarded this as beginner's luck. Then on the twisty Dallas street circuit, as track conditions begin to deteriorate and others were slipping and sliding, Haywood uses his superior traction to record the first victory for an all-wheel drive system in such a major production car race. The track was very slippery during the race, and uh, I just cruised around the car uh, because of the all-wheel drive system. I could put it any place on the racetrack and get away with doing just about anything that if you tried it in a conventional car, you would have crashed. He follows with another victory on the streets of Detroit, taking the lead on the very last lap. Then at Niagara Falls, rally champion Walter Rural tries his hand at road racing and runs away from the field, making it three victories in the first five races. Meanwhile, Hans Stuck, one of the fastest men in the world in a rear-wheel drive race car, was still struggling to come to grips with the all-wheel drive system. Sooner or later, I thought, I have to win a race. Audi is paying me a lot of money, so I look like a fool. i got to win a race now. Suddenly, he figured it all out and went on a tear. First place, Cleveland. First place, Brainerd. A victory at the Meadowlands. His secret? It's a left foot braking. You have this turbo lag, you know. When you go off the throttle and you go back on again, it takes a little while before the turbine builds up some pressure. So on these sort of chicanes where you don't have to shift down, I go on the brake with the left foot and stay on the throttle with the right foot. So I still have my boost pressure. And then when I leave the brake off, the car moves forward like a skyrocket. That's what it's all about. Mid-Ohio. Rain. Ideal conditions for all-wheel drive. And Sunday morning when I got up at about 7 o'clock, I saw the rain and said, oh, Christ, that's what we need. With the others struggling to just stay on the rain-slicked track, Stuck enjoys a Sunday drive. It just has always the feet on the ground, fantastic traction. 
fantastic cornering, very, very good. And with the four-wheeler, you know, it was the experience of all my life. You always had good traction. You could go over the hill with all the cars sliding with the power on. So just great stuff. By now, the competition was beginning to feel that the Quattros were enjoying a bit too much of an advantage. They accused the team of sandbagging, holding back in practice, not showing their true speed, then turning it on late in the race. The other teams lobby for a rule change. We need all the help we can get to keep our Goodyear tires under our cars. We don't have the advantage of the all-wheel drive Audis. We can't go head-to-head -head with the uh, Audi or the V6s because of our added weight. There's no way that we can run at the end of the race with the Audis. I expect Hans Stuck to show us his heels here very soon. The Sports Car Club of America officials agree and decide something must be done to negate the all-wheel drive advantage. They handicapped the Quattros with additional weight, smaller tires, and a reduced turbo inlet. But Stuck isn't phased. To beat Audi, they can give us as many weight as they want, and they can restrict our tires. As long as we can run on a four-wheel drive car, we are looking very good. Even with the handicaps, the Quattros prevailed, and by season's end, Audi had won the Manufacturer's Championship, and the hard-charging Stuck captured four first places. His strategy? My driving strategy is to go always 100%, or as close as possible. If I sit in a race car, I adjust my mind, and I want to go and go for it. Oh, sometimes it's bad, sometimes it's good, but if I'm, as a, as a professional racing driver, you have to be like this. It was the steady Haywood, however, who brought home the driver's title. His strategy was a bit different. Championships are points game, and you have to uh, get the points at each race. You have to protect yourself not to get into trouble with uh, the slower traffic. And I found that it was very beneficial for me to make my move uh, in the latter part of the race, uh, protect my car, keep it in good condition, and then make a charge in the uh, latter part of the stage as my two teammates, Hans and Walter, would do the charging for me, and then in many cases they wore the competition out. But to Trans Am officials, the Quattro's advantage seemed just a little too unfair. They aren't invited back for next year. Coming up next, the IMSA GTO.